So we've been up on this mountain for weeks. Every day we go up. If the birds are there, we are there. Our crew is unbelievably dedicated to do what it takes to get the data we need to conserve this iconic species, the golden eagle. Today we're going up. It is brutal conditions, but you never know what's gonna happen. So we're gonna be sitting in the clouds for a couple of hours. It might clear if and if it does, we've got the chance of seeing upwards of 150 golden eagles fly by in a single hour. 300, 400 eagles fly by in a day. That's the kind of information that we need to get. We need to see those birds and be able to get one down, tag it, put a GPS transmitter on, and be able to follow it for the next four or five years. For the past couple hundred years, we've had thousands of eagles coming down the Rocky Mountain Corridor during their fall migration, returning on their spring migration. Um, but over the past couple decades now, those numbers have been steadily declining, and we need to figure out why and what's going on. One of the first pieces that we need to do to study these birds is we need to capture them so we could put on little miniature GPS tracking devices and figure out what their critical habitats are, what their important migration corridors are, and really those key places that we need to conserve for wildlife. We're working with a species that occurs across the continent. This is not just something you can go in your backyard and look at every other year, every other day. This is something that it takes a specialized GPS transmitter to follow from Alaska to Mexico and everywhere in between. We don't even know what we're looking for yet, but we're gonna find the answers to help sustain these populations for the future. What habitats do they need? Where do they go? What do they need for breeding? What are they eating? What are they eating where? Who are they interacting with? All of these questions we can now get answers to that we're going to. We're gonna go on this journey. We're gonna find out what these birds need, where they need it, and make sure that that is sustained for the future. If you have an experience